It is challenge time. We got a mega hard character today. Back with the Exiles mod, we got Tainted Hidari, which you can already see this character is going to be quite tough to play. First treasure room will set the tone of the run, and Seraphim is really solid. I like that. So Tainted Hidari is quite literally what I would say is Tainted Loss, but literally harder. <laughs> they get a once per floor mantle because they have a gulped wooden cross. No room for any extra hearts because they are just destroyed and completely blasted by- Oh, nice. I'll take that. Screw every broken heart known to man. And they have no flight either. Not to mention Tainted Loss innate passive to at least get better items. See, I can't take this. Oh, wow, that sure did a lot. Or at least regular Loss has rerolls, but this guy, nah. We just gotta deal with what we get, but that's alright. I'm down for the challenge. Already a very solid start, Seraphim and Tears Up should be enough to get us through the first floor, especially even Burning Basement, which I can struggle on this floor, I'm not even gonna lie. But with these few upgrades that we have, we should be able to pull through. First boss is just LJ, nice to see ya. How's your dad doing? Oh yeah, that's that's right, my bad. I did that like 10 years ago, sorry. All done, I'll take another soul heart. Oh, I just saw. That is really cool. I suppose every single soul heart you get just gives you a minimal stat up. I can appreciate that. Another tears up. Downpour is a bit scary, I feel. Let's just go down to regulars for now. Library could have a good active for us. Oh, most definitely. Nice. Okay. Bookworm locked in this early is huge for us. And Book of Shadows means that I should not be dying. As long as I'm smart and not greedy by pressing spacebar, I should be okay. That is every Binding of Isaac player's issue. You can't tell me otherwise. We could all play the game halfway decently. But do you have the courage, the willpower to press spacebar or Q to save your run in a room where you know you're going to get hit? Sometimes I just got an Algis rune and I don't want to use it, even though I'm one HP. I don't know. Something in the brain just tells me how to do it. Like I can solo that guy. Just let. Just hold on. One, one more. I can. I can like sneak out one more second in this fight before I have to press Q. <laughs> Does this character have a better chance to get soul hearts? Because this is feeling pretty good. And PhD is really good as well. Okay, this is going well. Okay, all right, all right, all right. What's going on here? I can see forever. Tate Hedonari has definitely got to have some kind of miter passive locked in. It's appreciated though. It doesn't seem as hopeless as it was earlier, even just about a floor ago. But I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be easy. No matter how many freebies you give me, two hits on a floor is two hits on a floor. Uh, I don't need piggy bank. Mr. Me's great, but I already have Book of Shadows. I should take Blanket, because as far as I can tell, Holy Mantle, different instances of it count for different hits. So this Blanket Mantle, if we lose it, I'll still have my Wooden Cross Mantle. I'll definitely test it just to be sure, but I'm almost certain that one, yeah, we have Passive Miter built in, because look what's happening. And uh, two, I should be able to get hit twice in this boss room before I am in uh, a crisis zone zone. Even then I'll have Book of Shadows. So let me just take a hit just to be safe. Boom. And as you guys can see, I still have Mantle. So you always got to keep that in mind. Different instances of Mantle can actually be used and it's not just a one time. It can actually stack. One of the few times that Isaac items stack. We get cheese here. Yes, a cheese. Wonderful. Thank you. What does it do? What? I'm just gonna have to beat this boss again real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, don't believe in the cheese, guys. It's just not worth it. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm going down. Onto Caves 1. We're doing really well so far. This is a good place to be. So many stats coming from those soul hearts. Nice. I'm beginning to think it's less of a miter and more of a every single red heart is a soul heart that give you stats. Huh, that's what's going on here. Miters go to do not get me wrong, but red hearts should at least be showing up once in a while. It's looking more like 100% of the hearts are soul hearts. We got more in-depth gameplay that I was even expecting, which is wonderful news. Let's just move on and find a treasure room. Hey, look what I just found. Oh no! <laughs> that is a bad hit. Crisis mode, activate. We are in the danger zone, guaranteed. We need to be careful here and not take any extra hits because I will literally die. That cheese death does not count. You can't tell me. What the hell was that? I died to like the smell of cheese or something. Boom, unicorn stump. This is far more disappointing and a little bit foreboding. I need to constantly buff myself, man. If I get treasure rooms like this anymore, we might be in trouble. I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, wow. Hello. Hey, back up, man. None of that. No tinted rocks in here. That's okay. I feel like it's very essential to pick up every single heart possible. Blow up every single fireplace because one red heart is one stat. I like to see that. Boom. Fanny pack. That's very useless. <laughs> 
I guess I'll take a soul heart, except those just don't give me stats, cause- cause uh, you suck, I guess. How about balls? I guess balls aren't good enough. Some people crave even more than just balls, and that's just how it is. At least we gained some knowledge. We know how the character's playing. We gotta find regular soul hearts on the ground like this one for the stats to pan out in our favor. We also have a beggar down here. Bit low on fun, so you're going to my devil deal chance instead. And another half soul heart. Half soul hearts don't count the stats either, gotta keep that in mind. Let's just clear out that one lonely room that's definitely a 1% planetarium waiting to happen, I guarantee you. And we'll fight the boss again. So far, things have been going pretty well. My stats are so strong that I don't feel scared. Oh my god, this could literally win me the game. If I am lucky here, I actually win. <laughs> this fight's not the easiest. I need to press Book of Shadows. I, I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy like I said I would. It didn't even work. Oh my god. And as you can see, like I said, Binding of Isaac players, man, they have the ability to beat the room for free, but I, I just, I don't want to press space bar. I feel like I could do it. My ego is getting hit if I press space bar. <laughs> Mega Man. Not too worried about this because I do have an extra hit due to blanket. Don't know how I didn't get it. <laughs> what the hell was that? I should have definitely been tagged. I don't, what, I activated Ultra Instinct. I became the Flash and I phased through everything. Blood Clot's nice. Angel Room is exciting? What is that? I don't know. Jacko Mask. Wait, like, Guilty Gear? <laughs> is that Jacko's? No, it's probably like a pumpkin. Sorry, I got confused. It's quality four. Is it gonna kill me like the other one? Okay, no, I just like awesome. What the hell? What is, what does this do? I don't see any cleared stark difference. I'm occasionally shooting double shot, but you know, that's because of bookworm. Um, I don't know, man. It's quality four. It's probably good in some sense. We gotta keep an eye out for any kind of effect that's happening that we don't recognize and knowledge check ourselves constantly because when we don't recognize something, we could probably pinpoint that to being the Jacko mask. I can see forever for the rest of the floor is wonderful. Whoop, there's a secret to my left. Bing bong, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to blow this guy up. Better deal chance in all business, it's how it is. Me on my way to fondle the keeper's balls to get a 2% better deal chance. Don't put that in the video. Seraphim damage is so strong. I know what it's doing i don't know why i didn't see it earlier but it's doing some worm friend thing you see that it's 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 just worm friend <laughs> it's a worm friend but a fear effect okay i'm down with it oh wow it tears up nice okay maximum not even we're going past maximum gertie jr is the type of guy i'd press space bar for but again my ego i cannot risk it i have to beat the dark one and gertie jr without using book of shadows because otherwise if i can't who even am i you think I want to use the sun card when I'm missing 11 red hearts? That's just not in my prerogative. I apologize. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that is a space bar guarantee. <laughs> that one, that one's going down in the books. I had to press it there. Greed fight, bit scary. We don't have book anymore. But this uh, Jacko is going crazy. It's like a more aggressive, feared worm friend. I almost feel like I don't need Book of Shadows to fight any bosses because of the blanket. I'd rather have Book of Shadows for the, the rooms instead. So let me fight the Carrion Queen. This is an easy fight, just an annoying one. It's literally just going to be me going left to right over and over again. Watch, it's going to be incredible. Ne never mind. Usually that's how that goes, but uh, it looks like the Jacko Mask is doing something to Carrion Queen that they don't exactly appreciate. So goodbye. Uh, more tears. How did I get past the tier rate? cap is my question i think every single one of those items abides by regular tears up rules but now i just don't get to have anything now i don't know what's happening but you know what if i'm hard stuck at 5.41 it will bother me a little bit because it doesn't end in a zero but it's higher than i probably should have so let's i don't know let's take it <laughs> Oh, doy. Okay, it's it's the it's the soul hearts. Treasure again. Again, it's like well, I'm supposed to be excited. Hyper from hype? Tech hyper? <laughs> that don't look like a technology item to me. What is this? What? Oh my god. It's... Uh, what is happening? Some form of god item in the Exiles mod. I might just have to give this entire item its own showcase because this thing is insane. Depths 1. Would it be insane if I took this character that's supposed to be real hard and chucked him inside of boss rush? It might be possible. I have not done a boss rush in a while. And I would say that would be commendable on my part. I am kind of 
curious, and I kind of want to do it. It also wouldn't even be that hard, I don't think, because I'll have Book of Shadows available, and with my damage being so high, I might be able to just take care of every wave and have permit invulnerability. I didn't really want to mention that, because now it's going to look way less impressive when I do it, but I felt like I should clarify and be honest. Just pretend like I'm a god gamer when I'm doing it, okay? Horf pills. Don't need those. Treasure rooms in the Taurus. Um, I don't think Taurus is worth. The speed down is so huge. I don't feel like that's really good for me. And the benefit of, you know, having invulnerability is kind of not that impressive when, you know, I have invulnerability. <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom. I got so much cash on hand. I'd like to spend it. Birthright, there's no way this does anything. It literally doesn't say that it does anything. I... I'll check for you guys, okay? I'll check, but I'm not gonna do it. If it doesn't have a description, I assume it doesn't do anything. That's how I handle that kind of thing. Some modded characters have it, some characters don't. That's okay. Speed up, soul heart. We just confirmed as well that my tears can go past the cap when I take soul hearts on the ground, so that is why my tier rate is so high. And uh, as it stands, maybe the trade-off between Tainted Loss getting better items is that with this character, you get better stats. So this may just be feasible after all. Whoa, careful. Things are looking pretty good, I think. Okay, now we are in scared mode again, though. It's not like regular Lost. I only have a wooden cross. Getting hit is actually really bad. But we've already kind of taken care of the entire floor. We're just missing one. And we know we're going to get a blanket mantle in that boss room. Mantle is so strong, dude. What the hell? At least for a character where, you know, you're hella fragile. Damage is kind of a no-no zone. It almost feels like... Oh, my god, I almost died. Blanket might just be S tier. Going back for that one room that was completely useless and almost gave me a heart attack, I think might have removed the opportunity for me to get boss rush. But I can still hit hush, because hush is just so much easier to hit than boss rush. Whatever you're doing, Marks, I swear, dude, you're doing boss rush, and I would actually dedicate runs specifically to boss rush. I would consider myself lucky if I managed to get boss rush and any other marks. But if I'm doing something like hush, I'm like, yeah, I could probably hit the chest or the dark room at the same time, and I'll be okay. Boss Rush though, I do not blame you guys if you just hold R, wait for a good start, and dedicate the entire run to that, and that's it. Because sometimes, dude, it's really hard to hit. We got a Jar of Wisps in this Angel Room. That's really good considering its orbitals, but the consistency of Book of Shadows is probably better for me. I guess I'll try fighting this Angel. I'm not too afraid of you. I mean, you're not even doing anything. This Jacko Mask is so nasty, man. Thank you. We'll go to the next floor, get our mantle back. We'll defeat Mom solid as hell run today making it actually possible for me to beat this dad's lost coin for a range up what's my range looking like it's looking i mean it's pretty good uh Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it. It's just the adversary. Solo adversary is actually a hot take by me. One of the easiest bosses in the game. You don't need to do anything against one single adversary. You just go around them in a circle. They literally can't do anything to you, I promise. Now you put two adversaries in a room in opposite corners where it becomes really hard to circle strafe. And you gotta do big ass turns. Okay, yeah, yeah they got me. And then it's gonna be really hard performing a quick murder for my own gain you already know how it is and another 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 speed up plus some spun progress i suppose the contact damage is whatever we all know we just take the poison touch for the spun progress at this point shop in here trinket room is perfect because i have perfection i'll donate the rest maybe i'll get a better angel chance swing in the favor wonderful this is definitely harder than the lost, I'll tell you what. Having no flight is a big deal, man. Those early floors where you can just hang over the rocks and do absolutely nothing but hold down the shoot button makes the game way easier. So when you're removed of that ability, sometimes it gets a bit scary, dude. I'd like to go... I'd like to go up. Because I can't pay for hearts when I go down. Or items, you know what I mean? I would kind of just die, I think. Three minutes left on the clock on Womb 1. Seemingly more and more possible that I can hit Hush. Uh, am I getting fear of effect when things are close to me or is that just me have i only started noticing that or does that have to do with the uh, jacko mask i think that's the jacko but i'm unsure either way skolex is done i get another angel mega lucky today with the jesus juice into bible this is not really bookworm because we've already confirmed that but we get mega satan kill potentially assuming i don't skill issue so let's just go with this instead maybe i get stats not the case give me the key piece one let's go let's beat hush real quick Oh, hi. I mean, soul hearts, I guess, for stats. Nice. 
What about in this one? Nothing too much. Okay. This has got to be the boss. Oh, wow. This is the place that I used the Book of Shadows on. I, I, I know you guys can't even blame me. I'm so serious. I am three times as likely to get hit on that room than it lives fight. And that's not a made up statistic. I bet if I went to my bestiary right now and I saw how many times it Liz has hit me in comparison to a Grimace, it would actually be more for the Grimace. We had that two of spades earlier, so we have a bunch of keys. What is that? Tregigish. What? Reduction. It's not gonna reduce me to nothing and kill me immediately, right? <laughs> Not like the cheese item, that thing like scarred me for life. I no longer trust any item I don't know about. I'm officially traumatized, I actually have trust issues now. What's in here? Wow, that's so good, dude. No, it's not. This is terrible. What's going on here? I've bugged everything. <laughs> Uh, it looks as if the tech hyper can only shoot to the right and it doesn't actually even work with Monstro's Lung. Very bad situation, but I will just have to deal with what I get. Halo of Flies is huge. Dull Razor is also huge. Boneheart shouldn't do anything. What huh? is going on there? That, that shouldn't be possible. I don't think. If I get a red heart, do I fill it now? Or am I just boned forever? I can't get soul hearts and increase my statistics. Oh no. Uh, this might have been the worst floor to go to. <laughs> this this might have been like the no-no zone. Uh, at least I have a lot of range and shot speed. I can definitely hit this guy from far away, but my DPS is gone. I have to be on the left side of every enemy for the entire rest of the game if I want to do any form of damage. Not the worst, but a bit scary. I'm gonna have to summon the ancient god of gaming to help me out on this one. Here we go. Hush laser time, I think. No? Hush is being extra, extra, extra nice to me today? Wow, no hush lasers. Just stay in the exact same spot and just do continuum, I guess. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm not complaining if this is what you want to do with your life, Hush. <laughs> wow, I just got fed the easiest Hush fight of my life. I... What? All he did was stand still, idle as hell, AFK from his keyboard, and just spammed Continuum. Thank you, Hush. You made this actually possible. That was a pretty sleek dodge by me. I'm not even gonna front, dude. Brother, that was a large one. Okay, we have confirmed as well that we can still get soul hearts. In fact, it just deleted my bone heart. I've never seen that before. We're looking in the clear when it comes to soul hearts. I know I can get my stats back, which is probably my clear way to victory because the stats have been the best part about this run. And if uh, Tech Hyper wants to be a little bit weird, then I'm gonna have to play into the stats instead. Reverse Judgment is so huge, my god. So let's just go. I'll defeat Isaac very quickly. This is uh, a very lucky. It's the kind of boss that kind of stays idle, so Tech Hyper can just go crazy and uh, defeat the boss immediately. Chest, hello. Let's see. I mean, if these items aren't that incredible, I might just Reverse Judgment this, but we might as well see. It's looking like that might be the case. Hello? Ooh! Okay, 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 that's huge. My god, Ankh. Okay, let's all agree, if I were to have taken Ankh, I could just win the game. I could literally just go around, spawn as many hearts as possible, have infinite soul hearts, die, and then come back as blue baby, and I would be fine. We're not gonna do that, because that defeats the purpose of everything, but we can all agree I would have won. Instead, let's look for the secret room, which we found no item in here. 1% chance? Not the case. Okay. I still have potential for super secret room, uh, so I'm not gonna give up just yet, but it's looking more like a rolled starting room type of play. And while it is unfortunate that I don't get to take advantage of the tech hyper plus parasite as much as I want to, we can already see just how much damage parasite has tacked onto our tiers just by itself. And when I do get the opportunity, I get to a two shot plum, so I'm feeling way more confident about this run right now. Lots of twists and turns today on this run. Highs and lows, I love to see it. A constant challenge, yet a constant balance of good items. Also, this Jacko thing is so good. Wow, sinus infection is huge. It does such a huge slowing and fear aura. It's literally worm friend, but better. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned for the Mega Satan fight, because whatever this kind of weird right side technology thing I have going on, it's not gonna complement my- oh wow, hi. It's not gonna complement the Mega Satan fight too well, because he is uh, north of me. <laughs> but this tiny planet that I just found just made me the most powerful being on Earth. 
I mean, look what happens when I walk up to someone. I got so many tears around me. So, this might be the savior I need. It is scary because I need to get point blank. But if I'm able to do it, I have a 360 technology around me. And that's wonderful. Speed down tears up from Steel Apple. I guess I'll take it. It's kind of heavy. That, that Actually, you just lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> the Exiles mod has done nothing but make me not trust any item description ever. I can't do it, I won't believe it. Not a single item speaks true, I swear to god. Whoa! Stop, 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 stop! Okay, hold on, Lodestone went too nasty here. Was Lodestone too crazy of a pickup? Maybe. But I, I have so many, I got to do it, man. Way too many chests to take advantage of, I can't just leave them laying around. It's so insane to me how low my DPS is when I'm shooting left in comparison to right. That monstro took yeah, an extra like 3 seconds to- oh! I'm not, there's no way. There's zero chance. Uh, no way. No, I can't. That monster took like three seconds extra to kill, but if I have an enemy to my right, you just explode. Goodbye. Later, dumbass. Uh, the whole Dr. Fetus thing is interesting, but I don't even know how that would work. I mean, look at my tears. All of these are tiny little bombs? Am I trying to die? <laughs> I can't even imagine how that synergy would go, which is- OH MY GOD! Okay, alright, fine, I'll take it. You got me? <laughs> the fact that I can't imagine any one of these tiers all being some form of singular tiny bomb is the reason I want to do it so badly, because I, I can't envision it. So I need to see it. It's maybe possible. Our damage is great. We have Holy Mantle now. We have Reverse Judgment for maybe some extra stuff. I'm just going full on at this point. My plan is to go inside of Mega Satan, and instead of getting a solid kill on him, which we probably could have done a bit ago, I'm going full on Dr. Fetus crazy mode. Because if I don't commit, then who the hell even am I? Let's restock this, maybe something huge? Nothing there. Actually, uh, nah, Pupuli Tuplex isn't worth it. Conjoined? I don't think I'm gonna hit it. What is that? I think a wizard dropped this. Chemical supplies. Oh, okay. For sure, 100%, I agree. <laughs> Bago crafting, wow, if that showed up before I use reverse judgment. SMB super fan for some basic stats. Beelzebub we don't need, lead helmet. Hey, we know about this one, it's a flat five damage up, I'll take it. Never the, never mind, I guess. <laughs> I just like making the game harder. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap shoot one time and see what happens. Oh my God, this is so impossible. Oh my, it's, I'm not winning this. Guys. Okay, 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 okay. I think that took off my holy mantle, not my wooden cross mantle. I have to kill Mega Satan before my invulnerability runs out and I literally don't think that's possible, but I mean, it's more fun than what I was running before. So let's go for it. <laughs> I actually don't think it's possible for me to not take damage. That's not true, I just did it, sick. But it's really hard. <laughs> It is absurdly hard to do. I have to like go up, run away, and then hope I don't get hit. But it's possible, we're doing it. Hold on, hold on. I just need to look where all the bombs are generally going and run away. And then when worse comes to worse, I need to keep track of my health. Make sure I'm aware at all moments when all my mantle is gone. And then I press Book of Shadows and hope for the best. I can't believe I didn't get hit, what the hell. Oh no! Okay, I still have mantle. That was my regular holy mantle, not my wooden cross, that's good. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm actually gonna do it, dude. I've never seen so many poison clouds as well. <laughs> no! Okay. I figured I should pop Book of Shadows on a place where it seemed like guaranteed damage. This is gonna be tough, but let's try. Oh boy. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why are you slowed? Oh, this is terrible. How do, how do I even... You know what? It's making a path for me. Never mind. <laughs> it looked impossible until I gave it a second look. Nope, that was guaranteed the moment I pressed the, the shoot button in that scenario. Uh, oh, this is gonna be close, guys. Oh, no. And then every single time I hit him, he slows down, which messes with him. God, uh, I don't know. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Am I playing Toho? What is this? I, uh, oh, 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 I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Delete the bullets and then walk through. I can't believe I just did that. I did it! <laughs> I'm actually him, let's go, dude! That was Tainted Hidari. That was a wonderful run, a wonderful challenge, and I'm so glad you guys joined me. I hope you guys have a good one, and GG's.